Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, October 5th, and this morning I got up, did my stretches in my bed, and I got dressed and went out for my walk. And then when I came back, the people that did the resurfacing of our parking lot or driveway or whatever you want to call this, um, came back to paint the lines for the parking spaces. When I got there, they were doing the chalk outline for it to space out the parking spaces and stuff. So we have two handicapped ones and then two regular ones. And it was a little smelly because one of them was heating up a shovel for some reason. I don't know why. It still smells a little bit out here, but it looks a lot better and had breakfast and um, a little later on in the morning I um, sent Walgreens my refill for my thyroid medication and um, edited two more Halloween pages in that little book that I've done and I haven't did edit them yet. I didn't schedule them. Or did I make them public? I don't remember if I made them public or scheduled them. I just uploaded them, I think. Yeah, I think I just uploaded them. And I ordered some books from Thrift Books because last night I was you know, watching a stream, but I was looking at Amazon and on the home page they were showing like some books that I might be interested in and one of them was a revised version of this one Disney's Who's Who's which I've been using a lot and so it's like up and up obviously an updated version because of new movie movies and characters and all that so um, I added it to my wish list and I added it to my Amazon storefront, but then I went looking for it on Thrift Books and it was there for not like $2 less, I think, than Amazon. So I put it in my cart and I didn't check out or anything because, you know, you need $15 for free shipping. So this morning I went and looked again at my wish list to see what prices went down or available books were available now because they're not all there and one of them was available well they're not bad price so i ordered i ordered two more books i would have ordered two the, the disney one and the one i ordered but i needed like 92 cents more to get free shipping so I had to order another book, but anyway. And I figured out how to join, because they do have an affiliate program at this one place, Thrift Books, so I joined or signed up for that affiliate. So I'm waiting for approval for affiliate for Thrift Books. And because I know a lot of people shop there, including me. <laughs> and um, what else? Had lunch. And just a little while ago, the phone rang. It was my doctor's office. And it was a different office worker. And she asked if I was there. And I'm like, yeah. And she said, I have information for a referral. And I, back in my head, I knew what it was for. So I grabbed my calendar and a pen. And then I'm like, is this about the referral for the urologist? And she said, yes. And I said, I called there Wednesday because I didn't hear anything for Friday. And she's like, you did? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. Well, make sure you make an appointment. Call to make an appointment. I'm like, I already did that. She's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, oh my God. One, because they were supposed to call me. 
like Friday in the afternoon because that's when he approved the my doctor you know wanted me to see a neurologist so yeah fun times I, I love my doctor I like the office manager and the receptionist and the nurses I like love too but the office staff is something else my mom that's one thing my mom complained about all the time was his office staff she liked the doctor but not so much at the end <laughs> she was kind of ticked at him a few times and she wanted me before she died she's like I want you to change doctors and I'm like no because I like him because <laughs> um, I remember when we found out her cancer came back and spread and she was in the hospital waiting to be put on hospice whatever um one of the places that she eventually picked for hospice with a representative my mom was like because she wanted she kept asking for him to visit because he used to do hospital visits and he doesn't do that anymore at least at four years ago and she was mad she's like i want you to change doctors <laughs> to me and the rep was like who's your doctor and i spazzled off and she's like oh he's a good doctor my mom's like no he's not <laughs> so yeah she was mad about him about that and another thing when she turned when we, you when singers turn 71 they have to have a doctor's signature for them to get their license renewed and she wasn't going to drive because she knew she couldn't anymore she just wanted to have the license and i was the, i went with her for this visit because she couldn't get a helper at that time to you know to take her so we took an Uber and go, and he wouldn't sign the paper. And she was yelling at him like she was yelling at me. <laughs> and so, you know, and he's like, I can't because if something happens, I'm responsible. I could get my license taken away. Um, so, <laughs> so that was, and I'm silently, silently thanking him. But, um, yeah, she's like, she just, she wanted the license. She, she knew she couldn't drive, but she, that, that ticked her off as well with him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I'm waiting for, to get the thing to be able to pick up my prescription. I would get it delivered, but I think I'm going to go over there so I can get my flu shot and the booster for the COVID. So, if it's ready later this afternoon, I'll go then. If it's ready by tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> so, and I think, I, yeah, I said I didn't get anything in the mail yesterday. So, I think that's about it for right now. So, see you guys later. It is a quarter after seven and this afternoon while I was waiting for my prescription to be ready because they said it was supposed to be ready by three today but I know how that goes sometimes but I decided to schedule my appointment for my COVID booster and flu shot vaccines and they had plenty of times for today so I picked one around the time my prescription will be ready and it was actually ready on time. I got the text around three and I, then I got the phone call as I was getting ready to go and I got the Uber and this was weird because I, yeah, Tuesday was our HOA meeting and I was walking with one of my neighbors who was a board member and I was telling him that I had this driver one time that dropped me off and he said, or picked me up, I forget which he did, but he was looking at a house here, but did it because he didn't like, well, he got outbid for one thing, 
but he didn't really like the HOA price. And at that time, it wasn't as high as it was because I think they just raised it went after he looked at it. So, or got rejected anyway. <laughs> so when I got picked up, I get in the car. He's like, hey, I picked you up before. <laughs> or, you know, took you. And he's like, I right, remember me. I was the one that looked at one of these houses here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. And I said it was funny because I was telling my neighbor because <laughs> we had an HOA meeting. But, um, yeah, so we were talking about the area and stuff and his, or he, yeah, so. So that was fun and kind of weird because I was just talking about him Tuesday. So, um, the Walgreens I go to, they were repaving or resealing the parking lot in part. So it was kind of hard to get around, but he managed to drop me off. I go and pick up my prescription. It wasn't too long of a wait when I got there. Um, but as I was, went to the one window to sign in or whatever, to fill up, to get the paperwork and filling out the paperwork, the line started to get long because the way the drive through is because of the repaving or resealing the parking lot because it's blocked off in spots. So that made it, the drive through line was kind of long. So they had to go in and that was kind of long, but they did have two people at the um, pickup window. So it kind of went kind of fast. So that was good. And then I had to wait a while, so I didn't get the shot till like four o'clock, which is like 15 minutes, not too bad. And then I decided not to pick up the Uber at Walgreens because it would have been way too hard <laughs> to, for, to get there. I decided to walk to where Einstein Brothers is. They're closed anyway. But um, so I got the Uber to go home from there and then I'm not feel I'm feeling pretty good um the flu shot hurt more than the shot the COVID booster you know the shot itself um so far my arms are not too sore the COVID vaccines on then on my left because he asked which shoulder do, would I want do I use less or whatever the pain <laughs> so he did the COVID shot there because that one is usually more sore than the flu shot. And um, so I came home, put the stuff away, used the facilities because, you know, the stupid UTI, <laughs> and had dinner. I actually made the chicken sausage because I didn't, I have not felt like cooking. I mean, these, I don't like them. They're a little too spicy for my liking. I actually made three because when I was trying to get two out of the thing, three came out. So I'm like, fine, I guess I'll make three. And that was before I knew if I would like them or not. So that was disappointing. <laughs> but like I said, I have not felt like cooking. I did cook few days ago because I made steak it was a package of three steaks and I had one and then a second one I cut up into pieces and I made some the spaghetti the full miracle noodle spaghetti and I fried up some mushroom cut up the mushrooms that I bought and cooked them with some spinach and then mix the noodles with the that with the vegetables and then threw in the steak and put uh soy sauce on there no teriyaki sauce the rest that i had made a little stir fry and i had enough for those for three nights and i took the other and put the other steak in the freezer and um yeah but i just don't feel like cooking it's like I don't know why. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so. And then after dinner, rested, and then I decided to go for a walk again. Got my four miles in. And on the way back to the house, I got the mail. And I got a free sample of Cannelly and Crunch pairings. Blueberry muffin cereal. This is a new one. And there's another one they have like this. And I forget what it is. So that's good. And that's what's been going on. I'm trying not to think too much about this UTI stuff because I do have thoughts in my head that it could be worse. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking the worst but then I'm telling myself stop thinking that think you know think better but I can't help it because I'm by myself and I have nobody here <sighs> and I never did call the, the one therapist to see <laughs> I probably get the voicemail but um yeah Tomorrow's another day to do that. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. See you guys later. Good morning. Today is Friday. And this morning I did manage to go out for a walk this morning. And I noticed this yesterday. And I tried to get a closer look without going too close to the neighbor's house because remember a couple weeks ago I mentioned that I got a notice from my mailman about picking up packages from the package locker in our mailbox it's not a storage thing you can't you know you have to pick them up one every day if you get one and it turned out the packages were not mine they were for my neighbor and I told my mailman that and there's the one locker in our mailbox for the packages has been not been open for a while and I noticed yesterday I think there was like a note similar color to what the mailman posted on my door so this morning as I was walking back to the house I tried to get closer without getting too close because it was on the garage door and it was like a similar note and he couldn't put it on their front door because they have a gate on their front step so when the, they open the door the dogs won't go running away so yeah I don't know if they're gonna notice that note or not on the garage door but it's still there so I'm like I silently laugh to myself so COVID and flu shot updates um, my right arm's not as bad as the left one because the right one's when I got the flu and the COVID shot on my left arm. It's the left one's really sore. And I was starting to get chills this morning. And I first I thought it was because it was a little chilly outside this morning. It's supposed to be like 92 today. So I contributed to that, not thinking anything of it. And I'm a little achy and stuff. And um, I just took a shower, got dressed, and while I was drying off, I checked my temperature just to see. And I have a small grade fever, so I, it's most likely from the shots. But, you know, I, at first I wasn't sure if it was from the shots or the UTI, but I never had a fever so far with this UTI, so I'm contributing it to the shots. So, And the air conditioning heating place called me like an hour or so ago because there were, he was supposed to, the technician was supposed to be here between 10 and 12 but they called I answered I got nothing it, on my phone it went right to voicemail for some strange reason so I called them back and the technician is running behind so now he's going to be here between 12 and 2 which is fine because I'm not feeling I'm I'm feeling okay but you know I'm not 100%, um, so yeah, and that's about as exciting as it is this morning, <laughs> um, so, and I'm still not trying to think too hard about the urologist, and I'm, 
and what it could be or you know besides a uti i don't want to put it out there in the universe because yeah anyway oh and i weighed myself this morning and i was the same weight as i was like a few last time i weighed and then i took a shower <laughs> well before i got in the shower i decided to weigh myself and i was like two pounds less than i was this morning and i ate you know between the last time when i weighed myself this morning and when i took the shower so I'm like, that can't be right. And I, <laughs> so I weighed myself after I got out of the shower and it still said the same thing as it did before. I'm like, that's not right. Because <laughs> I do not look like I lost anything. I still look like the same. So I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out next time I go to the doctor <laughs> what my true weight is. But um, yeah, so that's it for right now. And, um, see you guys later. It is a quarter to 12, and I'm still feeling the same, still feeling warm. And, um, I have a couple thermometers. This one my mom had gotten when she was in the hospital from when she fell. I think it's from there. And I, there's another one, and then I used to have three, but the battery died on that one, and that one used to be mine. <laughs> in my bathroom and then um so I took one from there because I was getting um Tylenol and it still low grade like 99.5 and then I came in here because my phone was ringing it was the um, office from the air conditioning place the technician's on his way and then I took uh, took this one and it's still low grade like 99.1 so, you know, not terrible, but I still feel warm. So I did take the Tylenol after that. I don't like taking that anymore, unless I really, really have to, because it's really not good for the liver. So, but if I have to, I have to, you know? So I'm going to wait till the guy gets here and, um, have lunch and whatever and try to chill out and hopefully not get too terrible worse <laughs> I don't think I'll be worse um yeah that's it for right now so the air conditioning technician came and checked the heat pump and the compressor outside and everything's looking good and um yeah he had to turn on the heat so he can check the heat pump and it was really warm and I already have a low grade fever and so it made me really warm and I decided to order some lunch since he was working I felt like matzo ball soup a little Jewish penicillin to help my fever so I ordered that a cup of that and some Nova locks at the deli by me and through Grubhub, I had gotten an email from them this morning. If I order $15, I get 35% off. It's a little more than $15 because with the apps, it's always cost more for food. But I got free shipping, and I think the delivery serve or the service fee was lowered through Am Amazon Prime, and um, still costs a lot because. <laughs> food on the apps are usually more than the restaurants because of the fees but anyway that came and having the soup which was hot and already hot in the house so i was really warm i think the fav the fever broke while i was eating lunch um i just checked my temperature a couple times it's back down to 98.6 or 98.1 so yay for that and yeah i ended up i had a what came with the soup was a bagel and i picked chocolate chip and regular cream cheese i did not eat it at least not yet <laughs> uh, i had the keto bagels that i got at walmart a few months ago i had warmed up one of those 
to go with the lox. And it wasn't bad, you know, it was like a regular bagel, except small and low carb. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. I'll probably have the bagel. No cooking. <laughs> Again. Um, so, yeah. And then I checked the mail. I just got the mail. And I got a thing from the post office about the new stamps and everything. Their, or the gift collection. And then I got a thing from the urologist. Like the patient form for new patients to fill out to bring with the appointment and they have the date um, that I'm going and the time and marked where I'm going so that's kind of good so I know where to go I'm still hoping they'll call me with um, that they had a cancellation for an earlier date in a different location that's a little bit closer to me but I'm not holding bright breath but there's, you know, I'm still hoping. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that it's nothing serious. That's got me worried a little bit. But, um, yeah, so I'll fill that out later. And, yeah, that's about it for today. Nothing else exciting is happening. I don't know if I'm going to go out later today to walk. Depends how I feel. And if anyone's streaming tonight. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, I think. So see you guys later.